Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Yahoo Mass Surveillance. Yahoo certainly isn't having a good couple of weeks. A little while ago in one of my videos, I talked about how criminals were selling over 200 million Yahoo credentials on the underground. Shortly later, we found that these attackers actually had made off with over 500 million Yahoo credentials. And in fact, I have a blog post that shows me talking about this on Fox News. So right away, Yahoo is kind of having a bad time losing its customers' data. But today's big story is kind of a bombshell released by Reuters where they say some ex-Yahoo employees claim that Yahoo has created a customized program to search the email of all their customers for certain keywords. And apparently the US government, the NSA, actually required Yahoo to do this to help them find criminals apparently. In any case, this is a pretty big deal and kind of a controversy in the US. Already we're kind of questioning how much surveillance power the US government should have. On one hand, we definitely want law enforcement to have the tools they need to catch criminals. If they follow due process and they suspect that someone is a criminal, they should be able to subpoena wiretaps, and that includes digital wiretaps where they can try to look at your email and things like that. On the flip side, we don't want that give them too promiscuous tools. We don't want them to be able to search everyone's email all the time. And based on this Reuters article, basically this search tool allowed them to search the inbox of every Yahoo customer looking for certain keywords. And that may be too much power. In any case, it's a very interesting story. I recommend you check out the Reuters article and a couple other publications article about this particular issue. Now, I will say there's not a lot of evidence one way or other about this story. This claim comes from apparently three ex-Yahoo employees and one other person, and they don't say what the US government was searching for. You know, they could have just been searching for email addresses of a known suspect that they were actually looking for, or they could be searching for certain keywords among everyone's email address and really that context makes a big difference. In any case, this is really a big deal and I think countries in the world, including the US, needs to have transparent talks, transparent conversations about how much power you should have, how much uh, due process you need to go through before you can do this sort of surveillance. It really is a big deal and it has economic consequences as well. For instance, Yahoo is a global company. If other countries learn that the US can coerce a company to serve all their users' emails that may cause other countries not to do business with a US company. So this really has a lot of interesting ramifications. Now I don't have the answer here, I'm interested in your guys' opinion, but at the very least the practical takeaway is make your voice heard. This type of issue should be a subject of debate. Right now the US is going through a presidential race. Really cybersecurity and privacy should be big factors of discussion for who we elect as our leaders in all our countries. Anyways, just a fascinating story and I'm sure we'll update you as new information is available. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.